Hey guys, welcome back to another video on our YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a three hole oil change on this 2014 Street Glide, guys. Now, the torque specs and fluid levels that I'm going to be giving you today are for the 14, 15, and 16 103. So make sure that you check your owner's manual to get your torque specs and your fluid levels for your bike. I run straight Sin 3 in all three holes. Now, I know there's a lot of different oils out there, and there's going to be a lot of different opinions. You guys can use whatever oils and transmission fluids and primary fluids that you want but these will be the fluid levels and the torque specs that you need for your bike so this is everything on the table that you're going to need uh, to do this properly guys you're going to need an inch pound uh, torque wrench a foot pound torque wrench this is the harley davidson seal kit that you can pick up a couple of extensions oil filter gasket uh, this little funnel to fill your primary back up. You don't have to have this. Harley Davidson sells this and it's, I don't know, 10 bucks or something. Uh, but we do a lot of oil changes in here, so it comes in handy. I'll show you how to use that later. You can just use a funnel. You will need your oil, of course. And like I said, we do all Sin 3 and all three holes on this bike. Uh, your oil filter, some blue Loctite, some thread sealer, a ratchet, of course, a 5.8 socket, a 3.8 Allen head, and you're going to need a number 25 Torx head. So then, of course, you will need some towels for cleanup. So I highly suggest that you go in and you get one of your wife's best towels and you bring it out to the garage and you get ready to stop. Get some old towels and bring them out to the garage. You want to stuff this underneath the oil filter. When we get ready to take that oil filter out, it will drip some oil. So I just cram a couple of old tiles in there to catch that stuff. Now on the back of this receipt, I will write the day and time and the mileage and everything when I did this. This is the entire uh, oil change kit I got from Harley Davidson. Guys, this, doing this at home will not void your warranty. You are covered under the Magnus and Moss Warranty Act. So don't let anybody tell you at Harley Davidson that the, you have to bring your bike in there or it's gonna void your warranty. That is not true. You can do this at home. Simply keep your receipt for all the stuff that you purchased. Like I said, on the back, I write down the day and the time and the mileage and everything that I did to the bike on the back of the receipt and then I file it. But without further ado, let's get to it. So the first thing we want to do guys is get under here and remove your oil drain plug, which is right here. Just make sure you have your pan down here and have it ready. So as you can see guys, the oil is draining really slow, but if we just simply open up the dipstick, just unscrew the dipstick and give it some air it'll start draining so while that's draining guys it's a real good idea to go ahead and do your o-ring on your plug now the harley davidson oil change kit comes with the three o-rings you can see in there so we'll pull one out pull this one off get the threads cleaned up and put a new o-ring on all right guys so we got it all cleaned up now took a little wire brush and got all the old uh, thread sealing off new o-ring in place and i'll put a little thread sealer on there and then put it back in the bike. So now we'll go ahead and take our old towels and stuff underneath our oil filter to catch the oil that's going to uh, drip out when we pull that out. Your oil filter wrench, a long extension, and your ratchet, and remove the oil filter. Now when we get ready to put the new oil filter on, guys, I always open up a brand new quart of the oil pour some in the filter and then also put some on the rubber gasket and then we'll put the filter back on the bike as you're putting it in there by hand once the gasket touches the metal you want to go half to three quarter of a turn past that and that's as tight as it needs to go and that's about three quarter of a turn right there guys so we're good. And once we have the oil plug back in, guys, the torque specs for this bike are 14 to 21 foot-pounds. So I have my torque wrench set to 19. And we'll go ahead and snug that up. And that is 19 right there. So while we're under here, guys, we just put the oil plug back in here. Straight over and back just a little bit in this hole in the bottom of the frame. There'll be a frame plate around this. Right inside this hole is your transmission plug. And we'll go ahead and let that drain. Take the old O-ring off, clean up all this thread locker, 
put the new o-ring on and get it ready to put back on the bike once we have the transmission plug ready to go with the new o-ring and stuff i just slide it down into a socket like that because it's kind of up in the frame a little bit it just helps you keep a hold of it it's a small hole so just go ahead and get that threaded same torque specs as your oil drain plug so i've just kept my ratchet set to 19 foot pounds and we'll go ahead and torque that off and that's 19 right there so now we move to the other side of the bike and directly underneath your primary cover is your primary uh, drain plug right here so we'll get this off get it cleaned up with the new o-ring while this thing drains now once it's done draining we have our plug ready with our o-ring and our thread sealer Let's simply put it back in same torque pounds as the other three 14 to 21 torque wrench set to 19 foot pounds Nineteen foot pounds and we're good so from here guys we'll go ahead and take our five screws out that hold our derby cover on this is your uh, clutch inspection cover now i already have these broke loose guys with a regular ratchet so i'll just go ahead and take these five screws out Now that we have all three holes completely drained, new oil filter put in, we got the bike sealed back up, we can start putting our fluids back in. Now this is the uh, funnel that Harley sells. Like I said, you don't have to use this. You can use a regular funnel uh, with a small end on it and poke it down in there. But I found for just a few bucks at Harley Davidson, if you do oil changes a lot, these come in handy. So my bike calls for 38 fluid ounces. That's one full quart at 32 ounces plus six ounces. So I've taken six ounces out of another quart and put in a cylinder and we'll put that in first and then we'll put a full quart in and then we can seal this back up. Now guys, when I put the screws back in, the uh, derby cover, I add a little bit of blue Loctite to those. And the torque spec to those is 84 to 108 inch pounds, not foot pounds, inch pounds, guys. So I just set my smaller torque wrench down to about 95 and we'll go from there. Now I've put my gasket on the back side of the derby cover, guys. Put my top screw in and I'm just going to use the top screw to hold it. Now once I have all five screws in guys, don't torque them down in a circle. You've got a star pattern that you have to go by and it keeps the derby cover from getting on there crooked, getting your gasket all jacked up. So you want to start at the top. You want to go one, two, three, four, and five. Now that we're done with the primary guys, we can move to the other side of the bike and put the oil in and the transmission and we're done. All right guys, so from here, you're definitely in the home stretch. There's only two things left to do and that's fill up the transmission and fill up the oil. Your oil dipstick is here, your transmission is right here. We're going to use our 3 8 hex head and remove this. Now I already have this loose, so I'll just get this out. Now hopefully you can see in the camera right there, the transmission dipstick has a very, very small tolerance marker. Uh, you have an A at the bottom and an F at the top. So full and add and a very, very small tolerance marker right there in the middle. All right guys, so my bike calls for 28 ounces in the transmission. So what I've already done is dumped out four ounces out of a full quart. This brought me down to 28 ounces, but make sure to check once again, your specs for your bike to make sure that you get the right amount in. Now, before you put your transmission dipstick back in, guys, you can check this O-ring right here. This one doesn't necessarily get a lot of wear and tear on it, guys, so just inspect it, make sure it's good. This O-ring does not come with an oil change kit, so if you need that, you'll have to purchase that separately. So mine looks pretty good, so we're just gonna put it back in there. All right, guys, the torque spec on your transmission dipstick is 50 inch pounds. Once again, inch, not foot, but 50 inch pounds. So if you wanna set that, get that into tolerance, there's 50 inch pounds right there. 
and that is good to go your transmission is done so all that's left to do now is fill up the oil okay guys on your oil dipstick you need to pay close attention there's two tolerance marks on here one is hot on jiffy stand and one is hot with vehicle upright. So if you have your bike sitting on a stand or a jack or something like that and you have the bike completely upright, you need to check it here. If you have it on the kickstand, you need to check it over here. Now what I normally do is add just a little bit more than three quarts because we already put some in the uh, oil filter earlier. Not a bunch, but we already put some in there. And uh, we're going to let the bike warm up and then we'll check it from there. Now guys, once you have your oil in, remember to check it on the right tolerance level if you have it upright or if you have it on the jiffy stand. But when you check this, you need to screw this all the way in and then pull it back out. So make sure this is good and clean, put it in, screw it all the way in, take it back out. Now I'm in the tolerance level guys, but I need to start the bike let it warm up and then check it again and so now that i got the bike warm guys i can take this out wipe it off put it back in make sure to screw it all the way back in pull it back out now that looks a lot better guys i'm right in the middle so i'm good to go i'm going to clean this up and finish up the job. So that's it, that's all there is to it, it's doing a three hole oil change. So I wanna say a big thank you to my son for coming out here and helping me with the camera work today. Oily hands was a big help. Uh, I hope this video helped you guys. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the comment boxes down below and I'll try to help you the best that I can. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Me and my family appreciate the heck out of it. It helps us keep this channel alive. Now after you hit the subscribe button guys, there'll be a little bell icon that comes up next to it. Hit that bell and it'll let you know every time we have a new video that comes online but until the next video as always be safe keep your knees in the breeze